Good evening, everyone, especially to my new professor, Miss Mary Cartel. I'm Maria Carlin and I'm an online education. Uh, taking up a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Management Information System. In today's video, I'm going to uh, make a feature presentation uh, in connection with my uh, feasibility study course project uh, entitled Feasibility Study of SGA Water Refilling in Awishable Philippines. To start with the description of the business. Water refilling station is an essential business these days in municipalities, considering that the potable water is the basic human need. Water refilling stations offer convenient and accessible clean water to the company, uh, providing clean water to households, uh, government institutions, and private establishments. The basic concept of the business is to refill empty water containers with safe and potable water that is purified to remove contaminants and harmful conditions, which could pose a risk to human health. And the business typically operates in areas where a drinking safe drinking water is limited or non-existent providing to a cost-effective option for customers to obtain a clean water. It offers a convenient and affordable solution to communities whose inhabitants cannot afford to purchase a bottled water uh, or its supplies is irregular and do not their own water treatment systems. Water refilling involves uh, Processes such as sedimentation, filtration, and sterilization to ensure uh, that the water is safe for consumption. Other uh, business may also offer additional services such as delivery, installation of water dispensers, and maintenance of water purification system of some individuals and um, and establishments. Uh, the targets customers for this business include households, uh, private businesses, schools, hospitals, and other institutions that require a continuous supply of safe drinking water. Uh, the demand for these services is high in urban areas where the population density is higher and access to clean water may be affordable, uh, maybe a uh, a clean water may be a challenge. Overall, water refilling is a valuable business that offers critical services to communities by providing affordable and safe drinking water. The business requires a significant initial uh, investment in equipment and infrastructure but has the potential for high return on investment due to the continuous demand of safe drinking water. Regulatory and risk analysis of compliance with local laws and regulations. Uh, it must comply with the local laws and regulations uh, regarding water quality, safety, and health. This includes obtaining necessary permits and licenses from government or regulatory agencies. Uh, ad uh, adherence to standards must ad adhere to industry standards for water quality and safety. There are different standards for different types of water, such as drinking water, bottled water, and purified water. Uh, periodic water quality testing uh, to ensure that the water they provide meets the uh, appropriate standards. This can be done in-house or through an accredited uh, laboratory. In proper labeling and packaging, uh, to ensure that the proper labeled and packaged, this includes information about the 
source of water and purification process and expiration date, uh, training and certification of staff, uh, the procedure for handling and storing of and dispense, dispensing water, they should also be certified by regulatory agencies that oversee the industry. A regulatory analysis is JA water filling operates in an industry that is subject to various regulations and standards. Uh, the company must local apply with local and national regulation regarding water quality, uh, safety, and environmental impact. <clears throat> These regulations include water treatment and testing requirement as well as guidelines for waste water discharge and hazardous waste uh, disposal. A compliance with these regulation standards is essential for maintaining the company's reputation, avoiding uh, fines and legal action and ensuring the safety of its customers. Like any business, SJA water refilling faces uh, various risks that could affect its operations, financial performance, and reputation. Uh, some of the key risks that the company faces include uh, regulatory uh, risk. Uh, mentioned, uh, as mentioned above, the company operates in an industry that is subject to various regulations and standards. Failure to comply with these regulations um, could result in fines, legal action, and damage to the company's reputation. Uh, competition risk. The uh, water filling industry is highly competitive with many players of fancy makers. Uh, similar, similar products um, and services. SGA water filling must differentiate itself from its competitors. Um, by offering high quality products and services, competitive pricing and excellent um, excellent uh, customer service. Operational risk, the company's operation um, could be disrupted by various factors such as equipment failure, supply chains, disruption, or natural disasters. The company must have contingency plans in place to mitigate the risk to ensure the continu continuity operations. Uh, financial risk is a water refilling is subject to financial risk such as changes in interest rates, exchange rates, and credit risk. And the company must have robust financial management practices in place to manage the risk and ensure financial stability. The reputation risk. Uh, is essential to its success. Negative uh, publicity uh, customer complaints or social media uh, backlash could damage the company's reputation and affect uh, affect its financial performance. In conclusion, SGA water refilling uh, must comply with various regulations and standards and manage various risks to ensure its long-term success. The company must the company must have robust compliance and risk. Uh, compliance and risk management practices in place to mitigate uh, this risk and ensure the continuity of operations. 
local analysis, locational analysis, uh, population density, uh, the water refilling area should be located in area with a high population density to ensure a steady and sufficient demand for the service. Accessibility, the area should be easily accessible to, cost, to customers actually located along major thoroughfares or in high, highly visible areas. Water supply availability, uh, the water should, should be readily available and reliable to ensure water quality, quantity, and sustainability. Competition, uh, evaluate the competition in the area to determine whether there is an open demand for water refilling services. Economic factors, the area should be economically viable to ensure business sustainability, maximize profit, profitability, and minimize operating cost. Environmental factors, the area should have pro proper waste management protocols in place to minimize the environmental impact of the water refilling service. Legal and regulatory requirements, uh, and it, uh, ensure, to ensure that the area meets all the municipal, provincial, and national uh, laws and regulations such as health, sanitation, permits, licenses, and environmental requirements. The suitable location of water refilling area is essential to ensure business success and customer satisfaction. It should meet the demands of the population over easy access to consumers and possesses a sustainable water supply. Management analysis uh, will be expanded into policy and procedure manual upon startup. A uh, general overview of what should be include, included in the policy procedure and procedure manual for starting up a water refilling business. The vision and the mission statement a clear and concise statement of the company's vision and mission uh, should be included to the guide its overall operations. Uh, the organizational structure, the company should be included the policy procedure manual. The, this should include the roles and responsibilities of its position, departmental hierarchy and reporting lines. Standard operating uh, procedure as uh, should be established for all routine operations, including water quality testing and equipment maintenance, customer service, and record keeping. Health and safety uh, guidelines should be established to ensure that the products sold are safe for human consumption. This should uh, include regular testing of the water supply, hygiene practices for employees, and safety measures to prevent accidents on the premises. Market uh, sales, marketing and sales and the policy and procedure manual should outline the marketing strategy and sales uh, practices in the business. It should include the branding guidelines, pricing policies and customer attraction tactics. Then human resources uh, guidelines regarding the recruitment, hiring, and training of employees should also be included in the manual. This should include the company's hiring policies, employee benefits, and performance standards. A financial management the policy and procedure manual should outline financial management practices, including accounting procedures, budgeting, and forecasting. Quality assurance a system for ensuring the quality of its repeal should be included in the policy and the procedure manual. This should, uh, this should include quality control measures to ensure the water being sold meets the necessary standards. In conclusion, in any policy and procedure manual for water refilling business should be comprehensive, containing detailed guidelines for all aspects of the business operation. By adhering to the guidelines outlined in the manual, the business owner can ensure the success of their enterprise. A market analysis, the market for the water refilling station is quiet, is quite high as it fulfills the demands of human 
means there is our demand and our demand and clean water is essential for our health. People who live in areas where the water supply is limited uh, contaminated are the potential customers of the water filling uh, analysis stations. Competitive analysis, the water filling station business is quite competitive and there are already well established players in the market. To compete with them, we need to offer better quality products and services. We can also offer discounts and promotions to attract customers. How to determine the feasibility study for water refilling service stations allocation. The first thing to consider when starting a water refilling station is the location. It should be a prime location accessible to customers and easy to find. Uh, preferably, it should be near the area, a school, a market, private, and government establishment. But then, second is the equipment. Uh, the next thing is to consider is the equipment needed for the water refilling station. You will need to a uh, water filtration system, a water tank, a uh, filling machine, and other equipment. We should make sure that the equipment is durable and high quality. Then the capital. Uh, we should have enough to start a business. We should have a business plan that outlines all the expenses and projected income. We should consider the cost of leasing the property, purchasing equipment, maintenance, cost, employee salaries, and other expenses. Government re regulations, uh, we should make sure that we comply all the government uh, regulation uh, to the water refilling station we should obtain all necessary permits and licenses before starting the business. Conclusion, a uh, business and the market analysis and competitive analysis is the, the water refilling station business is feasible. We need to consider the location, equipment, is the capital, the government regulations when starting the business with proper planning planning and execution we can succeed in the business and provide clean water to the community. The financial, the financial, financial analysis, uh, income statement analysis, the SGA water refilling said revenue has been steadily increasing over the past three years uh, from 1.5 million in 2019 to 1.8 million in 2021. The gross margin has remained well, uh, stable over the same period, averaging, averaging around 30%. Operating income has also been steady with a slight increase from 200,000 pesos in 2019 to 220,000 in 2021. Net income has also been stable with an average of 150,000 over the past two years. A balance sheet analysis is water refilling has the healthy current ratio of 2.5, uh, indicating that it has enough current assets to cover its current liabilities. Uh, the company's debt to equity ratio is relatively low at 0.4, in indicating that it has a conservative capital structure. The turn on equity is at 15%, which is good indication that the business generating solid returns to each owner. Cash flow statement analysis as J. Water Feelings free cash flow has been consistently positive over the past three years, averaging around 100,000 pesos. Operating cash flow has also been positive and stable, averaging around 200,000 pesos. The company's cash conversion cycle is around 50 days, which is a good indication that it is effectively managing its cash flows. Ratio analysis is GA water filling. Uh, gross margin in ratio is 
at 30% choose a slide, which is slightly below the industry average in 35%. The company's return on the assets row is 10%, which is highly above the industry average of 8%. The company's price to earnings ratio is at 15, which is line with the industry average. Overall, the financial analysis suggests that SGA Water Feeding is a well managed company with a healthy financials. Its profitability, liquidity, and solvency are all satisfactory levels, and the company is generating a positive cash flows. Feasibility recommendation based on the uh, financial analysis uh, is GA Water Refilling Project appears to be feasible. The company has a healthy financial position, and its financial performance has been steady over the past three years. Additionally, the project aligns with the company's core business of water trading and has the potential to generate additional revenue and profitability. However, uh, the feasibility of the project is consistent on funding if the company can secure uh, sufficient funding, then it should proceed with the project. The funding could come from their external sources, such as loans or investments, or the company's internal sources, such as re retained earnings. Before proceeding with the project, SG Water Retailing should conduct a detailed cost-benefits analysis to determine the expected return on investment in the break-even point. The analysis should consider all relevant costs associated with the project, uh, including the capital expenditures, uh, operating expenses, and the opportunity cost. Additionally, additionally, the analysis should consider the potential benefits of the project, such as increased revenue, improved efficiency, and enhanced competitive advantage. Assuming that the cost benefits analysis shows that the project is viable, and can be generate a positive return on investment. SGA water refilling should proceed to the with the project. However, the company should ensure that it has sufficient resources and expertise to manage the project effectively and mitigate any potential risk. In conclusion, based on the financial analysis, SGA water refilling project is feasible but contingent on funding. If the company can secure sufficient funding and, and cost benefits and shows that the project is viable, then SGA will tariff should proceed with the project.